John at IPT Trans. Today we're taking a valve body out of a 722.6. They're in Dodge, Mercedes. This one happens to be a Porsche Tiptronic. All right, the first thing we have to do when this thing's in the car, we have to take off this connector. Now this connector also plugs into the valve body inside. So what we have to do, this is a seven millimeter bolt in there that we have to loosen and then we pull the whole connector out and that's the bolt. I don't know if you could see it. In addition you're going to have two O-rings that sit on this thing. So take those all and, and put it on the side for now. Alright you're going to drain the pan in the core and remove it remove the filter. Uh, this valve body is real easy. It's, it's easier than most. You're going to have several T30 bolts that you're going to want to remove. And that's it. It just will come right out. Putting this back in, we're going to reverse the order. A um, couple things to take note of. You have these two speed sensors, and they have to engage in these two holes in the trans case. So when you put it back down, you want it to go pretty straight. You don't want to damage these sensors or force it or anything like that. Also, you're going to need this protrusion on the manual linkage to engage into this slot on the manual valve. And if you don't do that, this isn't going to move. So I'm going to be careful that that's hooked up and then you check it when it's done. So we're just going to put this back on here. Note that this is engaged in the slot and you could check this by moving the linkage back and forth and you'll see the manual valve move. And we're just going to put these bolts back in. After we bring those down gently, we're going to torque them to 71 inch-pounds. And I forgot to mention this before, there's a bolt here that holds the detent spring. You don't have to touch that, just leave that one alone. After your bolts are tight, you made sure your manual lever is hooked up. You're going to lube up the filter o-ring, install the filter, and put the pan back on. Alright, the last thing we have to do is put these two O-rings on the connector. You're going to see they're, they're two different sizes and we're going to lube them up a little bit. And the trick to putting this in is you'll notice there's a tab here. That tab needs to line up with this protrusion on the case. That'll help you get it engaged or indexed rather correctly. You're going to push that in And then you're going to carefully tighten the 7 millimeter bolt back up. And you're going to probably want to do this by hand rather than using an air tool or electric. Then finally we're going to hook the connector back up for the vehicle. And that's it. You fill it up and that's all there is to it.